Hey guys, and welcome to another Gravy's Brew Review with me, Gareth Goes Gravy. And for this review, as you saw from the title at the beginning, as you can see from the title below, for the first time this year, and the first time in quite a while, I'm bringing you a home brew review. And again, as you can see from the title below, this is a review of my version of the Festival Razorback IPA. Now, what can I tell you about it? Well, two things. First off, and the more important part, I got this to 6.5% ABV. I think the um, suggested approximate ABV on the box is around about 5.8, 5.9, something like that. Um, something like that, I can't exactly remember off the top of my head. And secondly, um, for those of you that are aware of the story, this isn't a bottle from the batch that I brewed just before Christmas, thanks to uh, Graham from uh, Hapless Ginger Brew. <laughs> Sorry mate, almost forgot. Um, long story short, and I'm sure a few of you that know me through Facebook will know that uh, unfortunately over the period uh, when I was brewing the initial batch, um, I fell ill and was unfortunate that I couldn't keep my eye on that particular batch and again long story short it ended up uh, getting infected so just after the new year I purchased the uh, kit again more or less immediately once I received it brewed it up and almost about three weeks later I got myself around about 30 35 bottles again of a Razorback of 6.5%. Anyway, that's enough dawdling. I'm just going to crack straight on with this review. Uh, and I must admit as well that this isn't the first time I've had this. Uh, I have already had a fair few bottles worth of the beer just to kind of see how the conditioning and the flavours are progressing um, over time. Anyway, <laughs> here is the drink. <laughs> uh, uh, due to, I think, maybe a little bit just the tiniest hint of an infection, or I don't know, maybe well, it wasn't exactly too much uh, priming sugar because I used the carbonation drops. Um, the beers have kind of come out a little bit uh, explosive, so as a result, rather sizable uh, fluffy head, uh, just about white bubbles. Colour. As you can see, it's a mid-amber beer, very cloudy. Now that might be due to the chill haze, hop haze, or um, in terms of carbonation, I don't know whether you can see it. I can see a uh, rather powerful stream of bubbles making their way up the glass. Anyway, let's get in on the glass. Let's give it a nose. Oh, even through that head, I'm getting pineapple, I'm getting grapefruit. I'm getting the watery aroma from the, uh, from the head as well. Almost the grassy and piney piney kind of aroma there as well. Mm. 
That's really how I'm getting on the sniffs. Let's dive in for a taste. Cheers. Mm. And again on the flavours. Once again, pineapple, grapefruit. Getting that mineral water again, or mineral kind of flavour again, probably from the suds. Getting the uh, maltiness as well. Just a tiny hint of a wheaty kind of aroma there as well, or flavour there as well. It's not overly harsh or bitter. I am pleased with uh, the harsh, uh, the bitterness of it. It's not overly powerful. Mm. So we're diving for another quick slurp here. If I can't get anything else. Mm. Again, pineapple, grapefruit, a little bit of wheat. Maltiness coming through. It's very nice. And that's really all I can say about it. <laughs> so, but again, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, and I must admit as well, um, what you can't see off camera is I do, or I am actually halfway through uh, a pint of it as well. Um, just for a change. Um... As I say, I'm very pleased with it, very pleased that uh, how it's come out, and I will definitely be brewing this again. And on the subject of the final verdict, obviously with it being a home brew, I can't say buy it and try it. But I will say, as far as the kit is concerned, buy it and brew it. And as I said at the top of the video, um, the first batch from the last video you saw just before Christmas, it was from Brew UK. .co.uk link to which will be down there. I also put, purchased this kit uh, from the same shop so once again link will be down there in the description if you wish to purchase it. I will suggest you know and I will say for anybody that wants to just not entirely get away from um, from extract brewing or from uh, kit brewing I should say if you want to just bump up um, a little bit of knowledge on how to use hops uh, with this particular kit or with a kit I should say get this one it is probably one of the better ones you can get I know a lot of uh, reviewers have um, spoke highly of the uh, Razorback and I'll add my voice to that it's probably one of the better ones that I've uh, brewed um, in quite a while. Mm. Right guys, well, that was just my hopeful quick review of this particular kit. As always, if you have any general comments, questions or queries about the drink or the kit, drop them down there in the comments, we'll get some discussion going. And for those of you that have brewed this before, and of course consumed the uh, the results and you agree or disagree with anything I've said in the course of this video once again drop me comments down there and we'll talk alright guys well that's all I've got for you for now so until next time from Gravy's Brew Reviews this has been Gareth Gaz Gravy and I'll see you later cheers <laughs>